guys. So, I recently was skimming through Netflix, searching for my dose of a drama, and found it in a wonderful movie called When Marnie Was There, an anime, fil an anime film by Studio Ghibli. So I expect so I expected the usual stuff, you know, something about nature, love, and war. But boy, was I not prepared for this emotional journey. Well, it is a Studio Ghibli film, but not a Miyazaki film. I found that out later. So the story is far more personal and raw in emotion. Now, quick before I venture into the story, I just want to say that when Mani was there, is absolutely gorgeous to look at. The backgrounds feel like paintings come to life and everything is so delicately stuffed with what I presume hand-drawn details. The characters are drawn so vivid and lively, although leaning towards a more western style, which I'm not a fan of. Now I'm gonna give a quick introduction to the story and how it begins, and then just ramble about my thoughts. Now the story is about Anna, an adopted girl with Asthma, who's very insecure and shy. I even interpret interpreted it that she hates herself partially because she isn't fully Japanese, although there isn't really a confirmation in the movie that would tell you so. But come on, her name is Anna and her mother had also a very European name, so that's why I, uh, I thought that and made me even connect more to the character as... I also struggle sometimes with my uh, biracial identity or whatever. Now, at right at the beginning of the movie, she's drawing and she's very protective of her work because there comes a teacher and he's like, can I see it? And she's like, no. And this is enough to cause her a panic attack or her anxiety to kick in. And her asthma is induced by anxiety attacks you know so it's not regular asthma but more something psychological I would say um, and her adoptive mother who's very protective of Anna and basically crushing Anna under her love and and fear while Anna is like I don't deserve this and I don't know how far I can t trust you because you're getting money for taking care of me so I don't know how real your love is. Anyway, her adoptive mother sends her to the countryside to live with some family members of the adoptive mother whose name I've forgotten. It's been a, it's already a, two weeks again. Now, here at the countryside of Japan, uh, in a village, Anna becomes enchanted by this wonderful manor in the marshlands, where she also meets Mani the resident of the manor. Now, the identity is not that obvious of Marni, so you're sitting there and wondering is she a ghost or just some kind of manifestation, manifestation of Anna's psyche, but that makes this bond so much more interesting because it tells this friendship of those two girls who are both kind of isolated from everyone else and their friendship is a secret so they can't even tell anybody else about it and Mani is this wonderful character that that comforts Anna and she's more extrover extroverted and outgoing and shows ba basically the fun in life which Anna hasn't really noticed because she's more on the introverted side you know but uh, yeah this is just such a wonderful friendship and but it's not just about that, you know, there are many topics. What made the movie so special to me isn't just the stunning visuals, it's the music and the story too. I'll be honest, some of the exposition is very heavy-handed and the emotional twist is relatively easy to see coming or to spot, you know. It's not that hard, but that doesn't take away from the story and its themes. Overall, the movie is a uh, slow burn that might even bore some viewers, but if you really sit down to and let yourself get taken on this emotion, emotional journey, you are in for a wonderful uh, telling of friendship and different problems like 
abandonment, parental neglect, depression, struggling with adoptive parents and overall overcoming family tragedy by forgiving yourself and others. You know, because it's as it's re later revealed, Anna hates herself partially for her parents leaving. So her parents died in a car crash and in the beginning she was angry at her parents for them leaving but they couldn't help you know they died so and she hates herself for exactly feeling that way uh, for being so vengeful and selfish you know and that's her main struggle and, and why she struggles with love while Marnie's parents are never there the only people who are there are Marnie's servants who basically treat Marnie like shit they abuse her and aren't really loving you know so they both don't have that relationship and there are some more parts that I won't spoil for now because it's just a very good movie you know I believe uh, because I too struggled with forgiving myself for things and stuff like that so I found the main character Anna to be such a relatable character I emphasized a lot with her because I was also more lenient on the introverted and self-hating side and just like her, I had to grow kind of out of it, you know. But unlike her, I didn't have a, Ma a Mani character in my life, you know. Uh, I had multiple, you know. But it's not just a singular entity that encompassed everything that I needed. But I'm also in a state where I'm more happier. So, and, Ma uh, and Anna goes also through this journey of struggling to being happy and finally calling her adoptive mother just mother you know so and not by uh, her first name and that's the big part that made the ending so special you know so it is a very careful crafted tale one that you might not see coming from anime and is very different from other films that the studio had made i know classics you know princess mononoke Grave of the Fireflies, which Grave of the Fireflies is also a very wonderful movie. And there's just so much stuff that you wouldn't normally get, you know, or understand. And it's kind of sad that this was Ghibli's last mainstream movie for the cinema, but they finished their filmography with an absolute banger. Now, it's just like I've wrote this sentence and I'm not sure how to deliver it. But I'm going to say this, we are who we are through our past and for a person to grow, we need to sometimes look back, accept, forgive and move forward through what we could find out about ourselves that is hidden in our past. Because it's very much for about the past and family tragedy and learning from that and then to be healthier. And that makes this relationship between the lead character so special. Anna and Marnie were brief in their relationship. And this might seem like an oversimplification. But it's much deeper than that if you have watched the movie. Uh, but that is why it's so important for Anna's de development. You know, the focus is much more on Anna than, uh, than Marnie. I won't spoil like I said, too much because I want you guys to check it out. So this movie is not going to get a rating by me. It's just my rambling thoughts. Leave a like or subscribe and we'll see each other in the next video. Okay, fuckity bye.